We're learning more about what Seminole County school officials say was an inappropriate relationship between a baseball coach and a 19-year-old student. We're told this happened over Facebook. Good evening, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden, in for Lisa Bell tonight. And now the messages between the coach and the student are landing him in a lot of trouble. It's a story we first broke in a push alert from our Click Orlando app earlier today. And Local 6's Eric Sandoval broke this story on Local 6 News at noon. Eric, how did school leaders find out about all of this? Well, I got a hold of the investigative report today, Ginger, and according to that, a vice principal actually saw Harold Hitt, the teacher in this, sitting very close to a female student at a cafeteria table earlier this year. He later asked the student if she was uncomfortable. She said yes, and she said this, this has been going on for the last two years. Investigators with the Seminole County School District say the evidence of any inappropriate conduct by teacher and coach Harold Hitt can be found in the Facebook messages sent to a 19-year-old student. This one was sent by Hit in August of last year. It says, what's up? Just checking on you, gorgeous. Another calls her his BAE, slang for his before anything else. The student claims Hit was drunk when he put his arm around her in this picture, which he sent to her on Facebook. She said he kissed her on the mouth after it was taken. He denies he was drunk or kissing her, but admits to talking to her on social media and setting up meetings. He told investigators, I mean to be honest with you, I'm actually pretty embarrassed. I'm very upset with myself and I'm embarrassed about this, that I didn't do a better job with my judgment. Investigators say Hitt also denied being involved in the student's decision to fly to California last December to appear in a pornographic movie, a movie he admits he watched online. Uh, I think that is awful. I think it's inappropriate on both of their parts. Susan Holstein's daughter just graduated from Oviedo High School. She says it's another hard-learned lesson on social media. We have to teach our children to be careful and smarten up and, you know, just be aware of what's not right. I found out from this investigative report that Hitt had been told back in February to stop talking to students on social media. Evidently, it continued. And for that reason, the superintendent tells us that he is seeking his termination. The school board will vote on that at their July meeting. Ginger, Matt? Well, Eric, it sounds like it's serious enough for the superintendent to want Hitt to lose his job, but there are no criminal charges here, right? That's right. Uh, the student was 18. Again, this was not a sexual relationship. The school board is just deeming this inappropriate at this point. They claim that uh, Hit actually violated a, a couple of ethics rules, and for that, they're seeking his termination, Ginger. Eric Sandoval reporting live for us this evening. Thank you, Eric. And this is not the first time teachers in Oviedo have been in trouble in the past year. You can read about other recent incidents on our website. Just head to clickorlando.com.